If you need MySQL, this video will cover installing MySQL, setting it up on the command line, including then using the MySQL monitor to access databases, perform queries, and do the everyday stuff we need to do. So we'll jump right in with the command to install MySQL. And again, we'll use apt-get, so we need sudo apt-get install. This time we're installing MySQL hyphen server and we have two additional items to include with this installation the first is lib apache 2 mod auth mysql which allows http authentication to your mysql server the next is php my php5 mysql which what which is what allows connections from php directly to your mysql server which is extremely important, obviously, if you're using PHP and MySQL together. Let's go ahead and hit enter here. And go ahead and enter a Y for that. Now this time we'll be asked to start configuring MySQL right away. And the first thing is choosing a good root password for MySQL. So we're not going to look too much into the security of MySQL for now, but here you want to go ahead and choose a strong password. Now, if you need to disable the root account later, we'll get a pop up for that in just a moment. Now, we're not quite done yet. We need to go ahead and set up some more things. Let's run the MySQL install db command with sudo. And this basically activates MySQL. So we now need to run the setup script. So we use sudo user bin for binaries and MySQL secure installation and this is going to run through a series of questions and I'm going to go ahead and type in my current password for root now it'll ask me if I want to change the root password in this case I don't it will now ask me if I want to remove anonymous users now this is a good move so let's go ahead and do this and let's also disallow root login remotely now, it also asks me if I want to remove the test database and access to it. We'll go ahead and say yes to this too. Now it says reload privileges tables, which we need to do to take all of our options we've just chosen into effect. And there we go. We're all done. So we now have MySQL installed successfully. Let's take a look at actually managing our server. So we want to go ahead and use the MySQL command with the user option. And we want to go ahead and tell MySQL who we want to log in with. In this case, it's going to be root. Now, we see we get an access denied here, and that's because we do have a root password set, remember? So let's go ahead now and provide the P option to tell MySQL we want to supply a password. And once we hit enter here, we'll be asked to give the password that we set earlier. So we're now in, we can show databases, use databases, create tables, insert data. We won't cover this now as it's a whole other topic, but you can manage your MySQL server from now using the MySQL monitor. Or if you prefer, you can use something like PHP MyAdmin, which is a PHP based graphical user interface for MySQL servers. Now you could just place this in your application, uh, your Apache application public directory. If you're just messing around and want to, you know, create databases, create tables and things like that. But please be aware of security considerations since anyone would then be able to access PHP MyAdmin, regardless of the fact that you've got a root account and password um, vulnerabilities, any vulnerabilities found in PHP and MyAdmin could then be taken advantage of since you have PHP MyAdmin in a public facing directory. So what we're now going to next do is look at setting up SFTP or using SFTP rather to securely or a more secure way of connecting to our server 
to transfer files quickly and easily.